Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Nino Illusion, your girl, Nino Illusion, and I'm here back again with another video for you. And on here, if you're new, I make lifestyle, fitness, and nutritional videos. So today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Do you see this? This right here. Look at how beautiful she is. You guys, today I will be talking to you and will be sharing with you a little bit more about my period kit. This is what I carry in my bag and why it is important that we as women need to have a period kit on hand, especially during times of emergencies. And so the first thing that I have in my period kit is some panty liners. I did share a video on how I created uh, period kits for the homeless women. So definitely check it out and don't forget to participate in the challenge where you create some to give to those who are less fortunate. So as you can see, I have here some panty liners and I use as a regular rubber band to keep it nice and secure. Now with the uh, panty liners, I use them every day. You don't have to um, use them every day, but I do, I would encourage you. Uh, it basically protects any of the of the juices. You know, sometimes you get a little bit juice, a eh? a little bit too much juice, you know, a little bit too much leakage, you know, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So yes, because of those little leakage and just also from the natural cleansing of your body, you do get some discharge. So this is something that is very important um, to have. And even if, you, uh, listen, if you are a pregnant woman, you know that whenever you're pregnant and you try to laugh, a little, <laughs> a little tick tock, a little drip, drop, a drippity drop comes out. You definitely need to get some panty liners in your life, okay? Especially if you're pregnant, okay? Now, the thing about panty liners is that it is very, very thin. They also do have some that is for thongs. They also have some that uh, that have wings, but this one is just some regular ones. It's nothing too heavy. It doesn't have a scent, and it's nice and clean and nice and thin, so you will not feel that all up in the Garden of Eden. So that is something that I would really encourage you to get is uh, some definitely some panty liners. Uh, another thing that I have is some regular pads. These ones are some ultra thins. These are some ultra thin, so I definitely, and they also have wings. So there's different types of brands that you, you, you can use. It is your preference. Different types of um, sizes you can use. I'll show, show, show you. This one is overnight um, um, panty, um, overnight uh, pads. Now let me show you the difference between a regular pad and a overnight pad. So I'm going to open this one for you. This one is maxi and this one is ultra thin. As you can see, two different packaging, but also look at the sizing as well. So this one is maxi. So it has extra, it has some more uh, padding in there for you. And you see how long this one is? This is overnight. This is regular ultra thin and both of them have wings as i said i don't like wearing pads and i do refuse to buy pads that do not have wings so this is a regular ultra thin pad this is what i use in the daytime it is nice and thin it doesn't show the garden of eden um like like it should the garden of eden i like it to be a cute but she doesn't have to be over the top. You know what I mean? Like right now, everybody have that, the, the coochie line, the coochie this, the coochie. Listen, it's not that serious. Um, it's not that serious. So here are the difference in sizes. As you can see, this is the regular ultra thin and this is a maxi 
overnight so another thing for your daughters or for men who are watching who are single fathers of daughters if you're watching this is the difference uh i do sometimes uh i wet my bed i do sometimes because sometimes it's not that you're sleeping wrong sometimes if you especially if you have a heavy flow on the first day or the second day some women have periods for uh three my period is for three days some women have period for five days seven days and even up to two weeks and also some women have irregular periods now i want to normalize and make you understand that sometimes it doesn't matter how well you sleep it doesn't matter how well no listen this this a pad doesn't doesn't give you guarantee because sometimes as much as i'm sleeping and i'm wearing my overnights whether it is uh the thin ones or the maxi some some of the times it goes on my panty and sometimes it goes on my bed so what i do for that is that i have a uh, fleece blanket on my bed i i'm i did share i'm gonna be sharing another video on uh, my period routine that's gonna uh, be coming up maybe you have seen that one already my period routine where i share that that is something that i have done uh i just keep it on my bed all the time because i don't track my period because your girl is single okay so that's something i don't really track so at least i always know that i have that extra uh blanket on my bed um to protect me at all times okay so that is another thing to do but as you can see this is a difference so um make sure that when you're getting pads you get the ones that have um the wings on them okay another thing that's also in my period kit is some advil advil tom so you guys you can def i let me tell you something about my period i don't know about you my period is like in the river on the bank in the river on the bank what i mean by this is that one month i have no cramping my period come and she's nice to me you know you have you ever had someone be nice to you and you're like bless your heart you're so kind you know and then you just have some some co-workers or somebody just be so mean to you and you're like lord did you create that person did you really create that person are you looking at this mm. so this is how my period does be i'm telling you one month she's good another month she is the beast okay she is a horror kind of and she and she better hurry out okay and this is what stops her in her tracks you know so you can use some advil you can use some tylenol and um it wherever you are watching this video there's so many other different names for it but basically there's these same things that you can use uh if you if you're having cramping so for me i always have those advil on hand um i don't i guess i'm not a person who enjoys or who loves taking medications but i'm i'm not i don't have a high pain tolerance but when it is needed i definitely use it another thing that i have is some tissue some kleenex this is something that is always very handy because sometimes while you're changing your pads what if there's no uh, toilet paper in some of the public uh, bathrooms that you are in so always having that you'll be able to wipe yourself and you know like after all of the 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 the, the juiciness that flowing while you're trying to pull up your panties then you get drip drop drippity drop or you get clop 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 and then sometimes you say like you get a big piece of clot and then you just change your pads now it is important like when you just see a big clop and you just change your pads and you're about to pull up your panties using this um using these tissues you know just take one and then just wipe the clot and then put it in the toilet this is something that is very very important for you this is a lifesaver you must have um um you must have tissue okay you must have some kleenex in your period kit this is a must have okay another thing that i have is some hand sanitizing wipes and these ones i got them from the dollars uh dollar rama dollar rama right here in canada you can get them uh from whatever store you have these are hand sanitizing wipes now when you have your period it is important to have the hand sanitizing wipes versus the regular wipes because the hand sanitizing the hand sanitizing wipes it definitely uh, wipes 
all your hands it gives you a larger uh, circumference okay when it comes to wiping um, your hands you know sometimes while you're changing your pad and you get a drip drop drippity drop then it comes on your fingers and stuff like that so after you all done you know depending where you are if you don't have some uh, a sink nearby or so many different factors um, that can contribute to you not being able to wash your hand where you are when you are changing your pads. So definitely hand sanitizing wipes is your best friend, you know, and even if you have kids, moms, you need this. You need this. When you come from the playground and you just give them the regular hand sanitizing wipes, all of the dirt still stays on the hand. Um, um, if you just use a regular hand sanitizer, all of the dirt stays on the hand. But if you use the hand sanitizing wipes, it will remove at least most of the dirt so they can um, eat the granola bar while you're driving, okay? So another thing, you guys, I did a review on uh, me trying the uh, Diva cup. This is a Tampax cup uh, for the first time. And then this is what it looks like. This is the cup, the cubby cubby. Yes, this is the cubby cubby, the cup. And I did try it out and surprisingly, I, I like it. I like it. It's something that I'm definitely going to keep and use in the future. It is something that you have to get used to. Um, this is all, um, it is 100% um, silicone and you just wash and wear. Wash and wear. Wash and wear. That's all you have to do with this one. And it comes in a safety um, and discreet uh, case. So this brand that I use is called the uh, Tampax um, one. So uh, I'll keep the link for this one down in the description below. And don't forget, I'll also keep the link for you to check out uh, my first time using this one. Hmm. And get my thoughts on it. Very interesting. So another thing that I use is some feminine cleansing wipes, you guys. So after, while you're in the bathroom and you're about to change your pads, depending on where you are, the first thing that you need to do is to get one of those wipes, okay? It smells so good. This is the sheer lavender. But you can also get unscented one as well. So right here, just pull it out. And then you wipe the area nice and clean it you understand so the hand um, so the feminine cleansing wipe it, it's very thick and that is something that I really like about uh, this one in particular um, I you can get you can use baby wipes if you have baby wipes and you are mom you have baby wipes use baby wipes okay um, yeah so definitely this is something that you need you wipe the area nice and clean and then you can you are able to put on another your clean pad so definitely you need this so i want to share with you you guys the importance of a, a panty as you can see i am using a black panty this one is brand new but this one is lace this is what i want you to see you see how this is lace the Garden of Eden can breathe. Now, if you are not wearing cotton panties or uh, lace panties, she's going to suffocate and she's going to stink. You need to let the Garden of Eden breathe. She needs oxygen, okay? So as you can see, we have our panty. And so I'm going to use the pad. Just pull off the back like so. And let me show you. Now, with your panty, the way I'm teaching you to put on your pads is that it will help you and prevent your panties from staining uh, let me show you so make sure you put the panty on um, the pad on to your panty like so look at this like that you see that you, you, you see how she how she's looking right now the front of the pad it has the um, the wings okay so now we're gonna Take off the paper, make sure that the panty is like so. Now we're gonna use the wings and we're gonna flip her over like so. Beautiful. Pass your hand on her to make sure that she's nice and secure. Then we are going to use the other wing, as you can see that, right? And then press her like so. And there 
you have it now there's no way you're gonna tell me that your panty is going to have blood on the edges okay look at that look look this is how you do it you see that so now this is the front and then this is the back beautiful so you guys this is how you put on a pad properly please encourage your daughters please encourage yourself this is the best way to put on a pad my channel you guys is all about self-care whether we do nutrition fitness or lifestyle videos it's all about taking care of yourself mentally financially spiritually emotionally all of the ollies we are taking care of ourselves you guys so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content like this and share this video with someone that you know that they may need a period kit or they always have an emergency share this video with someone they definitely need it don't forget you guys until next time have a good one bye for now